I'm 30 years old and looking back on my 20s, in a way I completely wasted them. And in this video, I'm just going to explain how I did that, what was going through my mind, my belief systems, and why it's actually a paradox and a good thing that I wasted my 20s. And the reason for that being that it led me to where I am today. So let me explain. So my entire 20s, I was driven basically by my ego and its attempt to receive external validation from the world and other people. My ego was very fragile. It caused me to put on many different masks, wear many different costumes, uh, you know, metaphorical costumes, to impress other people. To I wanted people to view me certain ways. I wanted them to view the way, I wanted them to view me the way I thought I should be viewed. So I put on these masks hoping that they'd see me for who I wanted them to see me as. There was always something missing inside of me. You know, I, I had a normal childhood. I had a great childhood, great family, a lot of friends, loving, loving for family and friends, good school, good opportunities. But there was always something missing. There was always something missing in here. So I sought it from the outside world. In my early 20s, I decided to go to school for something that I knew would make me a lot of money, that would make my parents proud, that would make my friends think that I was successful. So I went to school for that. And I got a job afterwards for something directly related to what I went to school for in hopes that people would view me as successful, view me as somebody who made it. And, and I did all that and I got the job and I worked the job and I made a lot of money all for other people and all for the way other people viewed me. The thing about that is that people get to decide whatever they want to think about me. They get to believe what they believe. So even though I'm trying to do this, trying to make them see me a specific way, they may never not see me that way. So that's why it's very futile to seek external validation because at the end of the day, I'm not the one who gets to decide what other people think of me. So I went and got this awesome job that at least I thought was awesome and I thought other people would think is awesome, but in reality, I did not enjoy. I didn't get any fulfillment from it. I only got money from it. And that money just fed into my consumerism and materialism, which was also external validation seeking. Because once again, I wanted people to see me as somebody who is successful. I wanted to be respected. I was sort of the center of the universe in other people's worlds. I was putting myself, I wanted to be the center of attention in other people's worlds. And once again, it doesn't work that way. I don't get to decide what the center of someone's universe is. But I spent my whole 20s doing that. I did everything based on external validation and I had a complete external locus of control. I went and I bought a fancy like sports BMW, $80,000 vehicle, because I wanted people to see that and sort of have their jaws drop. Oh, he's got that car at that age. Man, he's made it. So I had the house, I had the car, I went and bought a bunch of expensive outfits. Like there were times where I was probably wearing between all the items of clothing that I spent money on, I was wearing like close to a thousand bucks between my, all the layers of shirts and my pants and my fancy shoes and the fancy chain and rings and accessories and jacket. Um, it was a lot of money I spent because that's what I thought people, because that way I could kind of control what people were thinking of me. Basically what I was doing was I was going to the circus, dressing up as a clown and performing for people and I was making an identity, multiple identities throughout the course of my 20s based on what I wanted people to see me as. I was a clown at the circus. And the thing about clowns that are professional clowns, they, they do all that. They dress up and then they go to the circus. But then at the end of the day, they realize that that's not who they are. They wipe the makeup off and then they go home and live their lives. I never did that. I was 100% clown all the time. I would, you know, I would play tricks on myself and say, this is who I am. I'm this, this rebel, this guy who marches to the beat of my own drum. Like I even got tattoos because I thought people would think I was cool. I had an image I had to give off. I had many expectations of people to see me a certain way. And yeah, sure, I did sometimes get some validation from people. Um, people would ask me about my job. People would compliment me on my vehicle or the way I looked. But at the end of the day, it was nowhere near of what I expected of people of the attention that I, that I thought I should get. Puppies, come on. 
my whole sense of purpose and being was coming from the outside, but it was all on my terms. People had to see me the way I wanted to be seen and nothing was coming from within here. This led to a lot of suffering, pain and depression. It was all self-inflicted. I self-medicated with, you know, substances, alcohol and other illicit substances. My entire 20s, I, and it, it is, in my early 20s, it wasn't that bad, but as I progressed through my 20s, it, it built the depression and the anxiety built. So I, I sort of treated all this pain with substances and they worked for a time and then they sort of lost their effect. When I was about 27, the anxiety that had been building in my body because of the way I was living my life, it had built in my body so greatly that it started manifesting in severe physical symptoms. One day I woke up while I was walking down my stairs and I lost my balance and went into the wall. And for three months I had no balance. I had to walk, like I had to widen my stance and walk sort of just to walk in a straight line. Looking back on it now, it's actually, I look back and it, it was, I, I can kind of find, see the humor in it. Um, at the time it was complete, it was complete darkness. The anxiety manifested in other forms to it it manifested as, you know, my whole body was spasming. I would feel sensation of paralysis in my limbs. Um, I would get blurry vision and I would get partial or complete and or complete blindness in one or both of my eyes. This usually happened at night. It, it was a very scary time. The doctors thought I had MS and there was a lot of testing that was done with no evidence. And uh, one doctor, thought that I should go on some Valium for um, the spasms I was having. And it fixed everything. The Valium is an anti-anxiety medication and it fixed everything. All my symptoms were gone. Like within two days of on Valium, everything was gone. So the doctor, that doctor knew right away that I was suffering a psychosomatic uh, anxiety disorder and that that's what it was. So I then started self-medicating with I then started uh, medicating in my late 20s heavily with alcohol and other substances that inevitably led to a, like a mental breakdown when I was 29. And I ended up in a detox facility and rehab facility for seven weeks. And that was the point where I sort of had a bit of a shift. And then I sought therapy and I went, I did some heavy therapy for two years. And that is where I've, I learned to sort of disconnect from everything. So so my entire 20s, I was living through a great deal of pain and suffering, and it was a good thing. So I suffered a great deal through my 20s, and it was all worth it because it led to my breakdown, which inevitably led to a mindset shift, complete belief system reset. I thought I had to believe certain things to be who I was. I was not living as my own person. So this breakdown led me to this and I was able to sort of rebuild and uncover who I truly was. I was able to disconnect from everything that I thought I needed to be. And I was able to disconnect from the fact that I can't control what other people think and what they think of me. That's not any of my business, what people think of me. I can only be who I am and people are going to think whatever they want of me, whether it's good or bad. That's out of my control. So yeah, in a way, I wasted my 20s, but in a way, it wasn't a waste at all. It wasn't a waste at all. It's a, it's a great paradox of life because if I never went through what I went through, I never would have had the breakdown which led me to where I am today. And where I am today is much better than where I was in my 20s. And a lot of people, they, they go through life struggling, never really understanding why. And I should speak for myself because everybody's life is, is different. But if I never would have had that breakdown, I could have went through my entire life lost. So I'm thankful that I went through the pain and the suffering and I'm thankful for where that has led me today. So tell me what you think. Does any of this relate to your experience? The whole purpose of this video is to, if I can, if this can relate to you or anybody, I wanted to share this experience because maybe there's somebody out there that can kind of relate to what I'm saying.